Hi everybody, this is Maureen Wong for YourNextStamp.com. Today I have a card with a surprise. When you open up the right hand side, there's space for you to write a message to your recipient. And on the left hand side, when you pull up on the bow, there is a gift card hidden inside. I think this is a fun way to present a gift card and still have space for a message too. So let's get started. To start with, I have a piece of cardstock and I sped up this video so you don't have to watch it for too long. And I'm scoring it at two and three quarters from each end using my mini scoreboard. And then I'm just folding those ends in toward the center. This is called a gate fold. And I'm using a tool to smash down those fold lines. And you can see that opens up like a gate fold. And I'm going to take out my paper trimmer next. And I have this rectangle of pattern paper that I cut with the largest of the stitch rectangle dies from your next stamp and I'm cutting that in half and that would be at two and five eighths of an inch and now I'm gonna go ahead and adhere that to my card actually meeting up in the center I'm not centering them on either side I'm actually having them meet in the center so that when the card is fully closed it looks like it's any other side or um, top opening card and not actually a gate opening card. So that's that part and now I'm going to take my 1 8 inch hole punch and on that left side on the top I'm going to punch all the way through all the layers of cardstock and pattern paper to make a little hole near the top and the measurement on the top is not important just near the top but not too close to the edge otherwise when you pull on it you might rip through the edge of it and now I'm taking some brown twill and I'm gonna cut off a length of that and uh, this part is a little fiddly that's why I didn't speed up the video here but what you're gonna want to do is put the ribbon around the gift card and then you're going to put the back portion of the ribbon through the back hole and then you're going to put the front portion of the ribbon through the hole in the front flap and it might take a little working if you want to use a larger hole punch like a quarter inch hole punch that's perfectly fine but I actually like the 1 8 inch hole punch it still slides in easily um, and you know you don't have this big hole that you can really notice it's it's a nice small hole that just fits the ribbon so I'm flattening out the ribbon there so that when my gift card goes in the ribbon is flat inside there and I'm testing it and making sure it pulls out and now I'm going to go ahead and put my ATG adhesive on the bottom and I'm going up to the very edges and the side of course leaving that top open and then I'm gonna put my gift card in and I'm gonna make sure my gift card is pushed all the way into the fold so that it doesn't get stuck under the adhesive and I want to keep it towards the top also so it doesn't get stuck in the bottom adhesive um, and then you just seal that down and then I'm gonna test it and make sure it's not stuck in there and it's not so I'm just going to pull it up and make sure that works and you can do that a couple times to kind of loosen up the pocket and then I'm just going to tie my twill into a knot just to make sure that it doesn't come undone and then I'm going to tie it into a bow And that is basically it for the mechanism portion of this card. I'm just going to trim those ends a little bit because they're a tiny bit frayed from being pulled through the holes. And uh, that portion is done. And now on to the decorating. I've gone ahead and pre-did my images here so it wouldn't take up time in the video. I used the Perk Up stamp set and matching dies from Your Next Stamp and I went ahead and stamped those out, colored them with Copic markers and then cut them out with the matching dies and I've also put foam tape on the back of the images and I stamped the uh, sentiment just on 
a scrap of that same white cardstock that I used for the images and I cut that down to fit. And I'm just attaching that with an ATG gun. And then of course the images are attached with the foam tape that I've already mounted on the backs of them. And this is some really simple coloring. I just use a bunch of grays and then just a couple other colors for the dots on the machine and the hearts and the coffee beans. And so that is it. So you can write a note for your recipient in there and then when they get it, they can pull out their gift card. And I hope you like this video and I hope we'll see you over at yournextstamp.com for these and many other fun products. Thank you very much for watching.